Welcome to the video on using a crucible and a clay triangle. By the end of this video, you should be able to understand why we would use a crucible and a clay triangle, know where the ring stands are, and know how to assemble the crucible clay triangle setup. In this lab, I'm going to walk you through a setup that's used to either dry out a wet chemical sample or provide intense heat for a chemical reaction. So we need a few items. The first item we're going to get is a ring stand. And these are all found in the little cubby area behind this lab bench. So we get our ring stand. And then the other pieces we'll need, we need a ring that has a clamp in the back of it. You'll need a clay triangle. So this is the clay on this sort of triangle setup. And a crucible with a lid. So we're going to attach the ring, and you'll just kind of unscrew this part of the clamp, again, lefty-loosey, and then it's going to go in, and you'll tighten it, righty-tighty, okay, so I'll put it about here. Now, um, you can adjust this height, so all you have to do is just loosen it and move it over down, you can adjust it as high or low as you want. The clay triangle will just sit right over the ring. Your crucible fits nicely right within the ring, and then if you needed the lid, you would use it. Now, one item I don't have here, but again, it kind of falls into the category of common sense, is a pair of tongs, because we would have a Bunsen burner here, and this would get very, very, very hot. So when you're finished doing whatever it is that you're doing, you would use tongs to remove the crucible. Also, whatever it is that you're doing may or may not require a lid. So the particular lab would tell you whether or not the lid is required. But that's the idea of how to set up a crucible and a clay triangle. This concludes the crucible and clay triangle video. Take a moment to review the goals and make sure you understand.